What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're out here at the Florida Audio Expo in 2024, and I had to come by and check out our friends from Focal. They have these gorgeous Focal Scala Eva Utopias in this absolutely stunning finish with the new classic separates. I'm gonna be bringing on our national sales director, Kellen Fleener, and he is gonna give you a run through with Chris from Focal. Thanks, Zach, for bringing us on. We're on the last day here, a Sunday morning, and uh, we have the gorgeous Utopia Evo speakers behind us. This is a really, uh, really special finish for us. This is actually the Ebony Blanc. We've only got about 50 plus partners throughout the globe, mm -hmm. and this is available to them for their clients. Yeah, no, it's stunning. Really, really just effortless and powerful speakers. Tell us some more about the uh, the name classic series, the new name classic series that's running everything. So here at the show, um, we, we've brought our, our new classic 300 series. Of course, we launched this uh, at Munich last year, and of course, we obviously want to show it off at this, uh, you know, at this event. It's uh, it's again a very awesome event. So with it is that we start with our basically our separates is that we have our NSS three 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 streamer, and from there we then obviously take that and put it into our NSC three three two preamp. Below that is that we do have our optional power supplies, and then right down on the very bottom shelf is our two amplifiers. So once we get to the three hundred series, we only have mono mono amplifier. So we have one mono amplifier left, one mono amplifier right, 175 watts a channel. Tell me what these guys are doing to help clean up the system. So again, this is our optional uh, feature. And so within name, and again, this has been, you know, decades, almost half a century that name has done this is that they've already put an upgrade path into their products. So if you, you know, in the past, if you wanted to upgrade a product, you had to sell it and then go buy something new. Where with name is that they have the ability to take the power supply and use it outboard. So with this is that we have one power supply for the streamer and one power supply for the preamp. And we can do these at separate times or we can do them at the same time as an upgrade feature. Plenty of power uh, in these amplifiers and you can definitely hear. What is the, what's the sensitivity on these speakers? Oh man, um, like, I mean, it is early, um, yeah. but we're gonna be around 92, 93 dB yeah, yeah. on these, so. And it, and it is fairly high. So you don't need a lot of juice to run these. They sound absolutely incredible. Um, so I know some other features that are on uh, these towers as well. I mean, we have some ISO acoustic feet. Do we have the model of those or? Uh, so these are the Gaia 2s. Okay, the Gaia 2s. It helps suspend the speaker off the ground to give you a much cleaner, tighter sound to the speaker. I mean, the isoacoustic product is absolutely, it, it's almost magical uh, yeah. when you put this product on. It's quick to pull in, to install onto speakers or also other products like turntables and equipment. But right. you know, the speakers, what happens, as you mentioned, is that the bottom end really just tightens up. Uh, we see, you know, uh, upgrades like our stage will move two, three, four, five feet back in behind the wall. Um, and it's just, just as simple as basically pairing the right product with the speakers and installing it, so. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, a, I think, a good point to point out that, you know, these speakers have the Brillium tweeters, they have the uh, M sandwich cones as well, and that kind of trickles down to the Sopra line. A little bit different in, in regards to how the mid-range is tilted and the actual tweeter. What, what is the main differences between the Utopia line to the Sopra line? We do use beryllium in, in a lot of our products. We've got it in, obviously in our Utopia, our Sopra product, even Kanta, as right. well as in a lot of our custom integration product. But most people don't really uh, realize that even though that we're using beryllium in all of these different products, is that they're actually different drivers. So with this is that we use what's called an IAL2 or Infinite Acoustic Loading 2 tweeter. Uh, we use an IHL or Infinite Horn Loading tweeter into the Sopra, yeah. um, and then obviously another generation of tweeter into the Kanta in our in our 1000 series as well. So with this is obviously being Utopia, we use the top technologies in the Beryllium tweeter. Now, when it comes to the W sandwich cone technology, what's very unique is that even though that, you know, the drivers look the same from Utopia to Sopra, um, and again, into our 1000 series, is that because we hand build our drivers is that we build each driver for each cabinet. So even they may look the same, they may have completely different specifications. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap. What do you think about these absolutely 
stunning speakers here at the Florida Audio Expo. Drop some comments down below. And if you have further questions, reach out today for a free video consultation. Here at Dream Media, we're different from everybody else. We really like to get hands on, take a look at your system and hand curate a package specific to your needs and budget. We don't wanna just sell a home theater in a box. We wanna optimize your experience to ensure that you get the best performance for your money. And we're nationwide. You can either shop online on our online store or schedule that free video consultation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and in helping you make an educated buying decision. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up and be sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.